Are you up for knowing what to buy and what not to buy? Come with me. Let's go inside and do some shopping. You know, in the early days of retailing, all products generally were fetched by assistants. And you and I had not that much choice of picking what we wanted. But in about 1917, somebody by the name of Saunders started this whole concept of self-service grocery stores. And that self-service concept just blew up because it gave the choice back to the customer. Of course, those days, self-service grocery stores did not sell produce or fresh meat. It's because refrigeration didn't exist. This concept was so successful that everybody decided to get into the game. And little by little, they started selling perishable items with the birth of refrigeration and so on and so forth. Today, we are in one of my favorite stores. Why? Because it's fresh, it's pure, and it's honest. It gives you choices and you can choose it. You know, the whole design concept for supermarkets started with psychological personality analyzers figuring out what achieves what in your brain. When you walk in, you're going to be hit with this beautiful array of vegetables and colors and get you excited about food. I hope when you walk into the store, you are excited about food. I hope you're always excited about food. But that's where it starts. And then as you go along, you start seeing other ingredients that are complementing ingredients to your excitement. That's why all fresh ingredients are outside parameters. All the dry ingredients are the center. So when we come back, I'm going to take you through the entire store, from vegetables all the way to seafood, poultry, pork, beef, and then we're going to go in the center, talk about the grains, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and so much more. I hope I answer all your questions. So don't you dare go anywhere because I'm here for you, and hopefully you're there for me. I'll see you when you come back. Welcome back, everybody. We are in one of my favorite stores, and we are dealing with purchasing. We're talking about buying ingredients and buying the correct kind of ingredients. Tomatoes is a staple of our everyday cooking. Whether we want to go to Italy, we want to go to Greece, or we want to go to Mexico, it doesn't matter what culture of food we're enjoying on a day-to-day -day basis, but tomato is there, amazing for you. And another thing that I need to mention about tomatoes to you is one of the dirty dozens. We're going to talk about dirty dozen. Those are the dozen ingredients that we want to make sure we buy organic. Why? Because the pesticide sits on the skin of the tomato and it penetrates and it usually exists. But by cooking it out, it's going to even intensify as it's dehydrated. So remember, with tomatoes, try to buy them organic. These are vine ripe tomatoes. That means they have sat on the vine and allow mother nature and sun to increase the sugar content of the ingredients. That same thing, not as ripe. You see this? So this is what I want you to look for. A lot of times, unfortunately, in our industry, we call a ripe ingredient number two because it has lower shelf life, but it has a lot of flavor. So try to find those number twos if you can. This is an heirloom tomato. Heirloom tomatoes come in various shapes, colors, and they're not specifically the way these are. This has been somehow controlled in the way it was grown. This nature is the uh, master and grows the way it wants. Acidity. Acidity is something that is crucial to balancing food. Lemon. Lemon is something that we should use because it's pure vitamin C. Oranges, limes, use it on a day-to-day basis because vitamin C is the carrier of all nutrients to your various cells and your body, so use it. Avocados, I am in love with this. This man right here, Rudolf Haas from Milwaukee, a postman that went to California, fell in love and created this Haas avocado concept that are the integration of two different avocados coming together. I bet, I bet you love avocado because I love avocado. I hope you use it in its purest form and it's just by itself. Now, let's talk about convenience. You know, before in the olden days or not even that far back, I remember 10, 15 years ago, lettuces were always in bunches and we had to wash them at home. Whether you buy it like this or you buy it in whole form and you wash it, 
you need a lettuce dryer because if you wash something, water is a thief. So you always need to spin it and get the extra water out. Otherwise, it's going to thin out your dressings and your flavors. Juices is something that we consume on a regular basis and we want it. Of course, I'm again, that pure approach of juicing your own fruit is phenomenal and the fiber is crucial. Do not buy juices that do not have pulp included in them because then you don't have anything except really sugar content of a juice. Fructose, sucrose, glucose, they're all sugars. They're just different kinds of sugars. That's really what I want you to remember. That doesn't mean that corn syrup is the same as pure sugar. That whole thing about all sugars are sugars, uh-uh. Keep it pure and keep it simple so you can relate to it. Fruits. Anything that is already done for you, can we say that it has been preserved for you. But freshness has a lot to do with it. So if you see something that you want to enjoy for lunch and you do not have time to go and cut melon, this is fine, absolutely fine. And these pure stores, such as this store that is my favorite fresh market, they tell you the date on it. They tell you many of those details. Salsa is another one. My wife being from Mexico, we love salsa. And my kids are masters in making salsa. So is guacamole. We make guacamole. If you can do these things, I beg of you, do it. Do it at home because you are the owner of the food. So do so. Mushrooms, again, is another one that we buy either in package or we buy them in the loose form. I love mushrooms. Mushrooms are sponges when it comes to flavor because they're 80 to 90% water content. By releasing the water, they create a gap in their uh, uh, formation and they suck all the flavors in. And that's what's beautiful. Broccoli, great for you. Use it, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Now, as you see, when you press a broccoli, how it gives to you is getting a little bit more aged. Then you come here, this is firmer. It won't give as much. So when you want to choose what kind of broccoli, how fresh your broccoli is, or you look at the stem of the broccoli and you see how it's turning dark on you and dehydrated, and the other one that's going to be crisp and fresh. So a key note here, anything such as broccoli or asparagus, when you bring it home, if you can let the stem sit in the water, you're going to keep it nice and uh, fresh. Here are all your lettuces. Again, if you can do it yourself, do it. Your beets. I love beets. I love beets. Green onions. That's a huge staple in our home. Cilantro. Again, another staple in our home. Because again, my wife being from Mexico, those flavors. I've done many shows for you with fennel. So this is what really you find your fennel. And this is the smaller version of the same thing. This same thing just the exterior leaves have been removed because the store doesn't want to sell you something that you're not going to enjoy. Come on down now. I'm going to take you away from the things that have been pre-made for you. Oh, by the way, can we go back quickly here? Look at this. Another one of the dirty dozens. This one has been measured and the pesticides, the amount of pesticides and the growth hormones that have been used in the soil are huge in celery. I personally don't know why. So this is Organic, you go organic with celery for sure. Carrots as well, so are potatoes. Chilies with their capsaicin are huge and wonderful for you, but that's another one because they have waxy skin, they absorb this pesticides and hold on to it. So try to go organic. The habaneros, this is a beauty right here. This is the poblano. The same pepper gets dried and it's called an ancho. The serrano, you use jalapeno, try to use serrano once in a while and you see how it's gonna be amazing. All of these spicy, you gotta remove the seeds and the vein, and they're gonna be much more enjoyable and much more digestible. Cucumbers, cool as a cucumber. Hot house cucumber or Japanese cucumber. Beautiful texture, you don't even need to peel it. Then we call these Persian cucumbers, very small. You know one of the things that cucumbers are amazing for you, lowest calorie ingredients out there. Amazingly full of water and cools you down. Ginger, everybody, I wanted to make sure I get to this. Chef, I'm gonna buy a ginger, what do I do with the rest? Freeze it. You take this ginger, you peel it, you use this, the rest gets frozen. But before you freeze it, cut them in small pieces, put them in your Ziploc as they get divided. Put them in your Ziploc in your freezer. If you can peel them and freeze it, that's another step that's gonna make your life so easy. Onions and garlic, are you kidding me? The staple of all, alien family, natural antibiotic. Sometimes doctors tell you, don't take too many garlic extracts. 
Why? Because the body will stop making its own antibiotic. But if you can get it pure and fresh, every day you should have it. That is natural antibiotics and you will get sick so much less. Why? Because your immune system is going to be fighting for you. Potatoes, that's another one of the dirty dozens. Go organic. Now, when we come back, we're going to go to our seafood, poultry, and down the line. So much more. By the time I'm done with you, you're going to be drooling and begging to go shopping. I'll see you when you come back. Welcome back, everybody. We were on produce, now we are in seafood. You have this amazing seafood. One thing I want you to always remember when you have seafood in mind, don't ever come to the market with a specific fish in mind. You come in and you figure out what is the freshest by asking your fishmonger which fish came in today, and then you decide. Shrimp. When it comes to shrimp, one of the things that you gotta remember, 90% of shrimp are usually frozen and then sold to us. That is the natural thing because they, it goes bad very fast, so they have to stop that and they freeze it and they freeze it in different sizes and blocks. Look at this shrimp right here. It says raw, peeled, and deveined. That means there is no headache for you at home. You don't need to devein it, you don't need to worry about it. And the size, it says 26, 30. That means there is 26 to 30 pieces of shrimp per pound and it's $12.99 very reasonably priced and is a good size as well. Right next to it, you have 2125s, a little bit larger, but they have not been deveined or peeled. That is gonna take a little bit more work, but that's good for a shrimp boil. That one is good for a nice grilling at the house. You have tuna, you have Alaskan halibut, you have Chilean sea bass, tilapia. We have heard a lot of bad things about tilapia, but good farm-raised or good wild-caught tilapia is absolutely amazing. So ask your fishmonger. This is your pocketbook. You vote every day with your pocketbook. So make sure when you vote, at least you know what you're voting for and what you're purchasing. Make sure she is your best friend. A fishmonger or a butcher is the most important relationship you can create because when she's your best friend and she communicates with you, you know what you need to eat and what to buy. So I will add, my dear, can you tell me where is this tilapia from? Beautiful. And then we have a Copper Wild River sockeye. sockeye. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Some of the work done here for you, if you do not want to wrap your own scallops and you want to enjoy scallops wrapped with bacon, there it is. On bamboo skewers so they don't even burn. These guys know what they're doing and use them. Use them to allow your life and your flavors to come even more intense. Crab legs, so on and so forth. Oh, smoked salmon. I love it. I absolutely love this. Now come here. Right here starts the most researched or searched ingredient on the entire internet. We consume more chicken than any other ingredient. So look at this. Whole chickens, usually three pounds and up, and usually between three and four. Otherwise, that is hormone fed. This is all natural chicken. Never antibiotics, never growth hormones, 100%. The beauty of this thing is I love it. My family, we shop here just specifically for chicken, for chuck on Tuesdays. They have a great deal. They do. Now we come into more convenience. They have all these things done for you. Ask what's in it. Ask that question. And if they don't have the answer, just dig a little bit more. They will find the answer for you. That's a good supermarket. That's exactly what a good supermarket or a fishmonger does for you. Your beef. Filet mignon, look at the way it's cut and with all the marbling. I love tenderloin, but to be honest with you, one of my favorite cuts is the New York strip. Look at the marbling, look at the flavors involved in it, then a filet, why? Because a filet is the muscle that doesn't work and the iron has not established itself, so there's not as much flavor in it. New York is. This is a porterhouse. You have the tenderloin on one side of the bone and the loin on the other side. Ribeye, skirt steaks. You. You asked for it, you got it. On one of the shows, I did a roasted pork. This is where I got the roasted pork from. They have it, they wrap it, and it's, they call it, basically, they put a net sock on it so it holds itself, and you cook it. Rack of lamb. These are one of the best rack of lamb you can get for the price. Absolutely amazing. Look at the size of that thing. So, we just went through the poultry, the seafood, and the beef and the pork. 
Then we're going to start with our uh, pastry, a little bit of the cured meats for us, and then we're going to dairy, and we're going to finish with a sweet kiss goodnight. I can't tell you what that is. You got to stay around. I'll see you when you come back. One. Okay, now we are in the pastry and bakery department. All butter croissants, that's what I feed my kids. Eat pure, everybody. Don't worry. If God didn't make it, you're not allowed to take it. Remember that. So butter is natural. Use it. Enjoy it. Now, I want to take you somewhere that is important to all of us, and that, are, that is oils. I want to talk about olive oils and balsamic vinegar and some grains. So come with me. I wish we had 30 hours together, but we don't have enough time, but I want to make sure I go through all the important stuff. Look at this, balsamic vinegar. A lot of times you don't know why we pay the prices we do for balsamic vinegar. This is the balsamic vinegar, the Modena. Modena is the region that's in Emilia Romana, and look at this, always read the ingredient list. If you cannot figure out what's in the ingredients, don't touch it. This starts with grape must, right? Look at the price here, $26.99. The night next to it, this is a grape must as well. So these two both start with grape must, okay? Now we're gonna go down here. We're gonna grab another one, and we're gonna read the ingredient list. Wine vinegar first, then grape must. So higher vinegar content, that is another kind of vinegar, and this one is more grape must, but both of them are grape Paste basically that are cooked down from a white grape called Trebbiano and in the caramelization process they change color. Now these are the Modena. The granddaddy of them all is traditional balsamic vinegar or balsamic vinegar tradizionale. Extra virgin olive oil. Now this is the brand of the store. Very reasonably priced. For three liters you're buying 30, $23. That's really nothing for a great extra virgin olive oil. And they tell you where it's from and what the acidity level is. But at the same time, please buy what you're going to use. You know within a week, two or two and a half weeks, you're going to be done with it. Don't think, oh, I'm going to go through this. Let me buy a big bag. No, make shopping the way it used to be in the grocery days. You remember how we would go and pick up our fish from one place, our beef somewhere else? It was a social thing. Make it social and enjoy it. So through my website at chefbecker.com, you can send me any questions that you wish. Before we go, and you guys go shopping, I want to take you somewhere else, and that's fruits, fruits, fruits. I want to send you away with a sweet kiss. So that's going to be fruit. Come over. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, what fruit? I'm sorry, what about coffee? I got to make you coffee after dinner, right? Come here. French roast. Look at the beautiful color of this gorgeous coffee. You see that? And I love that. You come here and you bag your own coffee. That's gorgeous. That's phenomenal. It's not somebody else giving it to you. Look at how dark it is. That is one roast before espresso. So now let's go right next to it and look at how light this coffee is in the roast. So that's what it is. The lighter, the more water content remaining and you have a little bit more acidity and bitterness in there. But bitterness is always a good thing in an ingredient, like extra virgin olive oil. That means all the antioxidant and good stuff that is good for you still left in it. So come on to fruits now. Strawberries, staple in our dining. And if it's not, it should be. And blueberries as well, huge in antioxidant. They haven't figured out if they can find an ingredient that has more antioxidant than blueberries. But they are very, very susceptible to disease and fungus. That's why they're sprayed tremendously with a lot of pesticides and, and a lot of antifungi um, chemicals. So please, please, please buy them organic. This is what I love about this store. You know what? It tells you organic strawberries, how much, and then it says conventional. They share all the details with you. They don't need to hide it. They tell you where country it came from. They're not like some people that are bringing things in from China and they're selling it to you as organic with their own brand. So with that said, I hope I had a chance to explain things as much as I could within the short amount of time together. But hopefully you will see. I am waiting for your questions so I can bring you all the answers that you wish. I love you all. Manifest your love for life through food. Keep cooking, keep shopping. For, you know why? Because you need to own your own food. 
Thank you for letting me your home. I'll see you.